When working with assemblies, you have the ability to reload components. This allows you to replace components if you need to do so, or simply change the way they were loaded in the first place. For instance, if you work in an environment with other SOLIDWORKS users, you may find yourself working on the same assembly as someone else. Here, I have an assembly open. Suppose another user has to modify the draw bar component. Instead of closing my assembly, I can simply give up write access to the draw bar component by opening it in read-only mode. To do this, just right-click on it in the Feature Manager tree, or in the Graphics window and select Reload. In the Reload dialog box, I'll check the Read Only option and click OK. If I hover the pointer over the draw bar in the Feature tree, you can see I now have it open with Read Only access, making it possible for someone else to gain write access to the same file. In addition to reloading components, you can also replace them. In this case, I'd like to replace the component called U-Bolt. I'll right-click on it in the Graphics window and select Replace Components. This brings up the Replace Property Manager. You'll notice there's an option to replace all instances. I'm only interested in replacing one instance, so I'll clear this option. Next, I'll click the Browse button and select the component called U-Bolt 2. This is the component I'd like to use instead of the original U-Bolt. Before clicking OK to complete the replacement, I have two more options. The first has to do with configurations. If the replacement component I'll be using has multiple configurations, I can specify which configuration should be used manually. Or I can have SOLIDWORKS try to match the configuration name used in the original component. In this case, I don't have configurations available, so this option has no effect. The last option is a checkbox labeled Reattach Mates. I'll leave this checked. This will allow me to reuse the mates from the original component. Since the new replacement component is different, the mates might not behave as expected. By using the Reattach Mates option, I'll have an opportunity to attach mates correctly. When I click OK, the Mate Entity's Property Manager appears. In this case, the replacement part is similar enough that all three mates are reattached correctly. I'll click OK and the replacement is complete.